What's going on everyone? Welcome to Classic Tacos. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna get into wiring up the lights for the license plate. So I've been running kind of the stock ones sitting there, but we're going to like upgrade. I got these little LEDs. We're gonna get installed and I got some connections. So I wanna kind of walk you guys through how to do it and what you need to do this. The goal is to tap into one of the license plate lights. So we're gonna get into that today. Let me just show you what I got on the bench. And as always, you know, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, guys. So here we are on the bench. These are the two tiny little lights that we're going to use. If you look, there's like three little LEDs in there. And they kind of have the wire kind of goes through the bolt. So you bolt these on and they basically be sitting like this over the plate. Um, I have used these in the past on several mopeds and they seem to work out well they hold up pretty good so and they're super inexpensive um, i think these were like under 10 bucks and i want to say this might have been like 11 or 12 for a two pack so the goal is to wire up one of these to both of these and then wire this into the connection that's already there for the license plate lights so we can maintain it exactly the same lights come on these will come on other than that they're going to be off um it's a good idea to have a test light with you this is how you figure out which wire you know is hot you could probably look it up on the forms but i like sometimes to test stuff myself so we're gonna get into that i mean i don't think it should be pretty bad the one thing you have to remember is since these wires go through the screw and there's a nut here you really have to get this all set up before you attach any of this stuff so just you don't want to attach anything because you know none of that will fit through the holes in the license plate so Let's go do that. We'll go check our wire real quick, and then we'll wire up the first one, and then, you know, we'll take it from there. So let me just get you uh, back by the license plate. All right, so here we are. Here's the brackets for the license plate. Um, this is going to be the driver's side uh, bulb that comes through. And kind of there's several steps here that you could do, and there's a couple of different ways to do this. But essentially, once you pop this off like that, you're left with this entire clip and you know most people just change the bulb or whatever but if you kind of pop this off this whole thing comes out right um and from here we're just going to figure out which one of these wires is hot uh, when we turn the lights on i mean i can tell you right away it's probably going to be the green one just because you see how the white one has black and white that's kind of a dead giveaway that that's the ground um, and the green is the power but we're going to give it a check real quick i'm going to just turn you know I'm gonna turn the lights on just to make sure this has power back here. We're gonna give it a test. All right, so I got the lights are turned on. I'm, uh, I got my test light kind of clamped onto a screw down here. There's no real bare metal anywhere. So I'm guessing it's the green one. We're gonna just shoot it in the green one. And can you see that right there? So I can tell my green one is getting the power and then nothing here on the white. So green, there it is right there with the readout on the power. There's confirmation, lights are off, and there you go, no power. So we know the green one is the one that's applying power. So at this point, we know what to do here. I'm just going to kind of cut these off, bring this back a little bit, open these up, and we're going to put in this connection here using the red to go to the power and then the black one to go to the ground. That's it. So I'm going to get that started right now. Okay, so from right here, we're good. We know that the red is going to be the power wire and the black is going to be the ground. So all we're going to do now is turn our lights on and just make sure that this has power. So we're going to just confirm that real quick. Okay, so once you have the harness you know, side worked out, we're going to start working on the actual lights. Okay, so the way these work, you have to kind of get them onto the tag and through the tabs that you want to be at before you do any connections, just because of how the wiring works, right? So in order to do this the right way, I'm just going to run the wiring through here, just like that, and then run this wiring through here, just like that. Now, before we get you know too far into this, uh, what you want to do is get the uh, nuts. So give you these kind of serrated washers. I don't know. It's got a name. I don't know what that's called. And the nut on here. 
all you want to do is see if you can get this up to where you can kind of just get this started I mean, I'm guessing if you really wanted to, you could potentially just run one of these lights and you would be good, kind of pointing it like this, but we're going to try to run two. So what I'm really trying to do is just make sure I can gauge. So this can definitely get over here. So from here, I would just be taking this set up here, tapping it into these, and then adding the connection here. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to run this behind here like this and just make sure that I have enough room to tap into this set right here just like this. So I'm going to do that real quick right now. Uh, we'll do a quick test and then we'll get into the rest of the install. So let's go get some taps real quick. Here. So right now we're going to use these guys right here. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do this. This is just called a quick splice. So what you would be end up doing is there's a spot where that's closed off here. You would take the one you're going to tap and then the one you're going to tap into um, slide them kind of in together here put a little pull just make sure it's good perfect close them up perfect now we have into here into here at this point I'm just gonna go ahead and just tighten these up real quick for peace of mind here I want to get them nice and tight. Perfect. Looks like it locked in pretty well there. And then this one, let's see. So one thing about those uh, those washers, they'll get to the point where it'll lock in and grab in really nice. Perfect. Right here. So I'll be hidden behind the plate. You can adjust the lights exactly how you want. I'm gonna kind of point them in a little, perfect. So right now it's just getting a connection here. So we're gonna do that. All right, so just like that, this is set up now to uh, get plugged into here. I'm gonna let it uh, just cool off a little bit uh, I'm going to give it a test, and then we'll come back and tape these up. We'll tuck everything up behind the plate, and we're done. We got lights. Uh, little low profile does everything that it's supposed to do. All right, so I think it's cooled off enough, so we're just going to take this and just make sure that we line it up the right way, red with red, um, you know, the black with the black. I'll plug it in. It's in all the way. Before I tape up anything in the back or tape up any of these connections here, we're just going to give it a quick check. Let's make sure they light up. Let me turn this off here. All right, so quick check. There you go. You can kind of align them to how you want so that way they're set up. Perfect. Okay, tighten it. I want to tighten this one down. There we go. All right, there. there it is. Um, it's gonna look better at night, but right now it gives you an idea. So let me shut these off. I'm gonna tape everything up. I'll be right back. All right, just like that, she's done. Everything is wired up. Took about 10 minutes, so it wasn't t terribly bad or anything. Doesn't give off too much light because I kind of don't like them sometimes that they're just like super bright. So these are kind of perfect. And then everything is tucked back here. Everything is taped, put up, and put away. So we'll see how long they last. Uh, the last set I had, they did last for a long time. I mean, it was years. I still have them on there, actually. So they're still going strong. So thanks for watching. You need anything, let me know. I will have a link to all of the clips and the lights down below. So uh, you guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.